And one more definition that needs refinement. Ethics. The ethical consideration of what we all choose to eat. The, the, the topic of conscious eating has always been about animal rights, hasn't it? Hasn't it, Linda? <laughs> it has. Animal rights. The life and death of other living beings that we consume, how they're treated. Well, these guys are treated pretty well, but uh, ethics has, has really all, always been about this, hasn't it, though? It, it, but I, I think it's time to view conscious eating or ethics in a much different and a much, much larger context. Is it ethical, for instance, for any of us to eat food that causes the extinction of other species if we don't need to? Is it ethical for the vast majority of humans on Earth to cause or contribute heavily to irreversible climate change, loss of our ecosystems, and resource depletion, while 2% of us are living our lives to protect Earth? Is it ethical for any of us to use our planet in a way that exacerbates world hunger and extracts the potential for future generations to survive? Is it even ethical for 310 million Americans to essentially impose their diet-related health care costs on the 5 million who choose to eat the right foods. Is it? So, so you see, I think it's time that we rethink ethics. It needs to be framed much differently than just with animal rights. In fact, one of the chapters in my next book, which is being published right now, <laughs> one, 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 of the, one of the chapters in my next book is titled, Why Should I Pay for What Everybody Else Decides to Eat? <laughs> and if we, don't, if we don't change fairly soon, if we don't change fairly soon, soon well, we, we know the animals are going to take matters into their own hands. <laughs> That's right. Look out. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Isn't that great? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. 